I guess I'll never try that again. Talk about, I guess I get, I give up easy and I get phobic. It's the Jupiter retrograde in Pisces, Neptune kind of deal. The only thing that kind of sticks out. Otherwise, I have a pretty good bunch of other alignments, but yeah, um, what I did was it's kind of discouraging. I thought for sure it would work. And so I'm just never going to try that again. And I so what I did was I I proposed that I get married, that Facebook marry me, you know, and just call it a, a link and a life together. And I thought for sure that it would be mainly financially sound because a lot of people just get married for finances. You know, it's like, well, it's easier. You're going to, you know, you need a partner to join this up and, and both know about whatever assets you're trying to juggle around and it's easier together. Well, to me, it seems like it's, what, two with just two people? Imagine marrying a possible 45 million people. I mean, a lot of times it's just for finances, right? Or for status or something. And so why not just take care of a, a vast variety of connection with not just somebody, but everybody. And I thought it would be easy. I thought it would be, I mean, can you imagine if my wedding takes $20,000 just to have the stupid thing? And a lot of people just, oh, they're, they're 20000 of A lot of people say, God, you sure didn't spend that much on your wedding. Well, I only had 20,000 people give me a dollar each. If, you know, but, but the thing is, I didn't get one response from Facebook. You, do you think I'm going to ask anything else to marry me ever again? No. And I never even thought that I would go there in my entire life. But there I put myself out, I think it was a month ago or something. And it's like a, a kind of thing that... <laughs> It's the kind of thing that you don't want to talk about being rejected. You know, you don't want to talk about that. That was just flat rejection. I failed and I don't qualify and I'm not good enough. All of those things run through my mind. And it's like, I knew it. And that's why I never even wanted it. To, it was like since elementary school, everybody was wonder, going to wonder, wonder, what are you going to, who are you going to marry? You know, because I guess I dressed weird. And then they always ask me, what are you going to wear? Your, your marriage? And a tuxedo or a dress? And I, was, and I was thinking, good question. Why do we have to wear anything? I thought that when you had a union with each other that you, oh God, never mind. Nobody wears 